As my wife and I gallivanted across Europe uh, when we lived in France for a couple years, uh, we ended up visiting a bunch of churches. And not that we're super devoutly religious or overtly religious or anything else. We just visited a lot of churches. And, and in those churches, one of, the, one of the most beautiful things that we saw were the offering candles. And that's everything from St. Eustace in Paris to Notre Dame, of course, all the way to the to the churches in in Porto in, in Portugal. You know, beautiful steel uh, candle holders where you know, the offering candles go. Uh, one of the pieces of antiques that we brought back from our, our time in France uh, is a prey do a, a kneeling bench that, that the faithful, if you're Catholic, I think, um, pray at. Uh, We'd been saying, you know, for a while that, that we would like uh, an offering candle stand. And, and I looked online. Um, there's, a, there's a site in France, sort of like um, Craigslist, called Le Bon Coin. Uh, and uh, I looked and looked and looked and finally found one made kind of a chitsy, welded wrought iron. And, and it was way too much and so decided against it. Well, since we've been home just this little bit, you know, two years, uh, <laughs> I thought it was time that, that I actually made it. That, that I made one. Um, it, it's well within my capability. And so um, I ended up fabricating one up and welding it out of eighth inch steel and, and doing doing some detail work, putting some little bun feet on it. And I made it to fit exactly on the top of our prey do. Um, we don't use it for praying, uh, but it's a nice piece of furniture. And I, I, think that, I think that this piece of steel, the offering candle thing, will go really well with it. So what we have here is the um, candle holder for the Prey Do. I've uh, sanded it up just a little bit. I'm going to bring it up to room temperature, wipe it down with some paint thinner, and uh, then coat it with a, uh, a primer. And I'm going to go with flat black, and then I'm going to put a couple coats of satin on it. All high temp stuff, because God, God forbid a candle hit it and it go up in flames in the house. Anyway. Here we go. Sweet! My uh, votive candle holders came in for the offering candle stand, and I got the uh, the flared tulip ones in red glass. Uh, wait, son of a! Uh, I think these might be bigger than advertised. Crap! All right, let me go check. So this is our prey do in the basement, and. There's the offering candle stand, finally and completely done. Um, as you will note, these are not in there. Why are these not in there? Because they don't fit. So now we have a bunch of votive holders 
that are going to be used somewhere else. But there is the offering stand on top of the Prey Dew. Yeah. One more project done and dusted.